Hi gang, Mr. Ed here, and I'm back. I've been off uh, YouTube for about six weeks. I think I posted a video in between, uh, kind of explaining what was going on. I went back to the Midwest to take care of my mom and uh, get her into a safer place where she will hopefully do a lot better. And when I left, she seemed to be doing a little bit better given her condition. Um, it's as probably good as it can be. But I did get to spend a lot of time uh, with my mom, and that was, it was great. It was good quality time. It wasn't under the most ideal circumstances, but I'll take what I can get. So after I got that all settled, I'm, I'm back. And during my time off, I reached 400 subscribers. So if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry that you uh, subscribed at such a strange time in my channel because I don't usually take so much time off for the last two years since I've been doing my art channel. I've posted pretty religiously at least one video a week. Um, when I first started out, I was doing two a week, but I've kind of settled into a nice schedule for me. And I went off that for six weeks and maybe I lost some subscribers. If I did, I'm sorry. I would love to have you back um, because I'm back now and I feel a little bit better I got to visit my family. I hadn't seen my family for three years since I moved out to the Northwest. It's kind of hard to get to where I'm at. And it's not easy for me to get back home because I'm terrified of flying. So I have to, I have to ride back like a train or friends come out and get me or, you know, whatever. Cause I don't drive. I haven't driven for three years since I came out here. I gave up my driver's license. I just, I wanted to walk and hike and save the money that it takes to keep a vehicle. Plus it's kind of scary for me to be in a car on a regular basis, even though I traveled across country in one, which I'll tell you, it was terrifying <laughs> is really kind of scary, but I made it, made it there and I made it back and on the road as I was through some of the most beautiful places on earth, I took notice in my brain and tried to uh, pick out the stuff that I like the most. So one of the places that I really enjoy is uh, Western Wyoming. And they have these little clumps of rock outcropping and some pine trees will be poking up off the top of them. And they're like these little islands in the plains of rock. So I kind of wanted to draw that impression and give it kind of like a feeling of like a coast. But the, the ocean part of the coast is just this scrubby prairie in Wyoming. So I wanted to uh, kind of draw that in pen. I've been doing a lot of this fine, fine point ink drawing sketchings. It's kind of in a very minimalistic style, almost kind of like a cartoonish kind of style, just so people get a better idea of how to draw these shapes. If you follow me because you want to learn how to draw the shapes, this is a, a nice video to show that you can see the the trees just go in pretty easy that's why i like pine trees for me they are, they're just so obvious in their structure when i try to draw deciduous trees like an oak tree or a maple tree i i just have such a hard time uh, maybe i need to practice those more i don't know but the pine trees go in pretty fast and i like that so i need to catch up on some things um since i'm back uh i kind of left really abruptly and without much of a plan and I had a little bit of money saved up, but not much. So uh, I'm kind of like, I'm not, I've got all my, you know, everything taken care of, but I don't have much extra left over. So um, there's, you know, I kind of have limited supplies and uh, the time that I wanted to have to do videos, I don't have now because I have to work another job to make up for the time off. So uh, I'm picking up more hours there and doing that. So I won't be doing some of the larger projects that I wanted to right away, but I do still have plans to do that and I have to catch up with the Art Addicts Alliance um, prompts that I've missed. <laughs> and I really miss that. I love uh, being in the Art Addicts Alliance and um, I missed out on the, the interactions with the members because it was kind of impractical for me to be on my phone all the time while I'm taking care of my mom 24 hours a day. and. Uh, when she would go to bed, I would go to bed. It was just, I was drained, tired. So 
uh, not much time and I didn't have my equipment and stuff with me to do videos and to even really do art I went to the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store and bought a, pa a pad of paper and a pen just so I wouldn't lose my mind it was how ill prepared I was and if I sound like I have a cold or something it's because we have forest fires out here I came back to Oregon to raging forest fires and suffocating smoke and it's about to do me in it's completely ruined summer here in southern Oregon which summers here are beautiful there's so much to do unless you're suffocating on smoke which seems to be a pretty regular pattern here lately but when I wasn't in Oregon when I was in the Midwest I did take advantage of uh, reacquainting myself with some things that I didn't realize I would miss so much like fireflies we don't have any fireflies out here so I, I loved watching the fireflies and uh, Cardinals the red bird uh, listening to their their beautiful songbirds I love listening to them chirp and stuff and they're just they're pretty birds so I miss those we don't have those out here and anybody who's traveled through the central and northern Midwest or who lives there knows about Casey's general stores and Casey's has pizza that I love it's like one of my favorite pizzas whenever I'm traveling on the road I go in there I grab a pizza it doesn't matter if it's breakfast or you know dinner whatever uh, this isn't sponsored by Casey's by the way but I do love Casey's pizza so on my way back as soon as we got to pass the the first Casey's that is the furthest west in the United States I'm like pull it over I need to get me some pizza get my Casey's pizza on so I reacquainted myself with fireflies cardinal birds and Casey's pizza so those are some Midwest Midwest favorites of mine so I want to tell you a real quick story when I was going back home six weeks ago uh, we were traveling at night and got stuck in Wyoming the middle of Wyoming out in the middle of nowhere we ran out of gas you know it's just it, that's a longer story but to keep it short we ran out of gas and it was basically the middle of the night and you at this point you could just freak out or you just roll with it so I rolled with it I got out of the car I looked up and I saw one of the most beautiful night skies I've ever seen in my life it was just clear there was a moon out there were stars from one end to the horizon the other and you could see them all and it was just beautiful and I found that to be a blessing that was just kind of incidental you know you run out of gas and you can get all upset or run out of gas and try to make the best of it it does help when you have AAA so it wasn't a complete panic attack it's like we'll just call AAA and we did have a signal and there are like three light bulbs in the whole state of Wyoming that is like the darkest place I've ever been in in my life I have to tell you it's just like the darkness absorbs the light in a way that nothing else does so that was kind of remarkable and I never would have noticed it if I hadn't uh, been failed by Google so thanks Google appreciate it and thank you for joining me I appreciate you guys sticking with me and the new subscribers thank you and the people who have been with me the whole time thank you and halfway through thank you and uh, until next time you guys take care